Hey guys, so this is me, fresh face, today. Um, I kind of just wanted to do a talk through get ready with me video because I really wanted to make a video on my day off um, and I wanted to wear makeup, so why not? I'm going to get started because um, I feel like this could get really long. So first, um, I'm going to start off with skincare. And I'm using my Ola Henriksen uh, Pure Truth Youth Activating Oil. It's a vitamin C. <clears throat> Excuse me, oh my god. I feel like I'm getting sick. It's a vitamin C serum. Use one pump of that. And I sort of just kind of press it into my face. All over. It smells like oranges. Ugh. Feels nice. Vitamin C is good for pretty much anyone. Um, unless you have kind of acne prone skin. Then you don't want to use vitamin C. I have a lot of redness in my skin. Um, I think that's one of the reasons why I like that so much. And next I have the Urban Decay B6 um, makeup, pre preps, <laughs> makeup Prep Spray, which I just kind of hold and do a couple sprays like that. I already bought the full size of this stuff because I'm obsessed with it. It really um, calms down my redness and just kind of preps my skin for everything I'm going to put on it. And I'm trying out some eye creams right now. Right, right now I'm using the um, Philosophy Miracle Worker eye cream. Um, I don't really like it too, too much. I just kind of want to get through it. And I think I'm almost done. So this, I just kind of tap a small amount under my eyes. And I just kind of bring it up. You can bring it all the way up to your brow. <clears throat> Do the same thing on the other side. Ugh. I am so lazy today. Can you, like, I just feel like wearing makeup. I don't know why. Usually I wouldn't. I'd let my face breathe on the days off. Okay, so I'm tapping. I'm just kind of tapping that in. Like I did with the serum. I'm having a little bit of a breakout right now, but I never really have anything too, too major. Oh, now I'm using my Neutrogena Naturals Multivitamin Nourishing Moisturizer, which this is probably going to be like my last use of it because it's almost gone. <clears throat> Actually, maybe now I have a little bit left in there. And this, I'm just kind of going from the inside out. I love this moisturizer. <clears throat> Feels so nice. And my skin's starting to get a little dry now that it's the winter time. Okay. So, now, I'm going to start with my eyes. And I'm going to prime my eye. I'm sorry if that's shaking a little bit. I'm going to prime my eye with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I am <laughs> really trying to get rid of this stuff. I feel like this tube is never ending. I squeeze a little bit out onto my eye. <clears throat> and rub it in. All over my lid. I even take this up to my brow because I use brow powder. And so I feel like it kind of holds it on a little bit better. Okay, now I have to figure out what the heck palette I want to use. I think I'll just use my Vice 2. Um, I got it for Christmas, and since I got it, I've been just kind of doing all different looks, and it's been so much fun. I think I'll kind of do a neutralish look with it today, just because I'm not really doing anything. I'm going to start off with this um, Sigma E55 shader, and I'm going to take the color... Hmm... I'll do the color Strike. It's this gold color in the middle. I haven't used this one yet. And I'm going to put that on my lid. All over my lid. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. My favorite color in this palette is that um, is the silver color, Shell Shock. Like, oh my god, the pigmentation is in freaking sane. 
on that. And I do find that with these shadows, if you kind of brush it on like that, you get more fallout. But if you pack it on, you don't really have a problem with fallout. <clears throat> okay. There's that. Now with... What am I doing? What am I doing? With... Where the heck... Okay, with my Sigma Tapered Blending E40, um, I'm going to take the color Derailed, which is this one. Sorry if that's, like, blinding you. I'm just going to blend this um, in my crease. Just like so. It's hard to see. This um, brush is my favorite sort of for blending in the crease and to do like a transition color in the crease as well. Oh my god, all these colors are so pigmented. I don't want to go too crazy with my eyes today. Okay, so this is what I'm going with so far. <clears throat> um, I'm just going to take this one, I believe this is a brush from the Naked too. It's just this kind of little I don't know, I don't, want, I don't want to call this really a blending brush because it's not, um, but I'm going to take the color <sighs> Radar, which is this one, this golden color, it's a deeper gold, and I'm going to take some of that and put that um, lower in the crease, so like in here. Sorry about my sniffles. I have the sniffles. So it just gives it a little bit of a more color. And then using um, Lovesick, which is the blackish, sparkly-ish color, I'm going to very lightly pick up some of that because it's like very pigmented. And I'm going to kind of pat this on the outer corner and then blend it into the crease as well. Just ha like kind of halfway into the crease. I'm just adding a tiny bit of dimension to this, like uh, some shadows to the look basically. And then I'm going to go back into Sigma E40 and blend. I'm going to take a tiny bit of the color Habit and also just kind of blend some of that just to kind of get rid of that harsh-ish line. <clears throat> There's the eyes, and now for complexion, I'm going to um, start with a primer, and I'm going to prime my face, and I'm just kind of using this one lately. It's the Rimmel Fix and Perfect Pro Primer. Squirt a little bit of that out, and I apply this just as I would apply my moisturizer from the outside in. Did I say outside in? I meant inside out. Just get it all over. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's that. 
Um, for foundation, I'm going to go with my Makeup Forever HD for days that I'm not work at work um, or that I don't have to wear my makeup for a long time. This is what I go with just because I find that when I work a nine hour shift running around under fluorescent lights, this bad boy with any primer, just it's not working anymore, which it used to. Working at Sephora has completely changed my skin, which kind of stinks. But I'm just going to take my Sigma Round Kabuki, the F82, and I'm going to put some foundation on. Slave to the makeup. It's alright though. Next time I apply this foundation, I need to make sure I change the color I'm using because this color is a tad yellow for me. I'm using um 117. <clears throat> but other than that, it still looks pretty okay. It's weird because my face is really, um, my face is really pink and red as far as undertones go, but, like, my neck and body is yellow. I don't know, it's strange. Okay. So I just make sure there's no brush lines or anything like that, and by getting rid of brush... And to get rid of brush lines, I just kind of stipple. I think it looks pretty good right now. So yeah. Um, next is concealer. And today for concealer, let's see. I'm gonna, I'm, what do I want to use here? I think I'm going to do my NARS. My NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer in Light One Chantilly. I, I don't know, that's what I say. Um, this also, I wish I had a different color in. This is a tad light, but I only use it under for under eyes to highlight, obviously. So, I'm just going to put a little underneath. <clears throat> Next time I buy this, I'm just going to go up a shade. I like the vanilla shade. That's what I use when I touch up at, wor at work. And my favorite brush at the moment is the Sephora Pro Airbrush Concealer number 57. I, c I could not live without this brush at all. I really could not live without it. I don't know what life was like before I bought this brush. There's a honking zit on my face right there. Must resist the urge to poke and play around with it and get rid of it. Ladies and gents, do not pop your zits. It's very bad. I'm telling you right now, it's very bad. Okay. Um... That's all blended. I'm going to set my face with a powder. And I'm going to use my um, NARS powder foundation. And my perfect match is Light 3 DeVille. Looks like this. Um, I love this stuff. And to put it on, I use Sephora um, Mineral Powder Brush number 45. And I pat my powder in because I hate, I feel like if I buffed it in, that it would just move around my foundation and concealer and that bothers me. So I just kind of pat it on. And this will actually kind of fix the fact that that other color is a little yellow for me because this one is one of my Color IQ Perfect shades. I love this stuff. When I use this, I really feel like the longe longevity of my foundation is like out of this world. 
So next I'm going to contour. And to do that, I've been using um, Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil, which if you can see, I hit pan on recently, which is exciting. So yeah. I start with my cheekbones. And I forgot to mention I'm using the Sephora Pro Contour Brush number 74. And after that I take it on my temples a little bit while blending everything together under the crown of my head. Down my jawline, and I take it back to the hair, the hairline. That way, there's no, you know, blunt lines, and everything's kind of blended. Down my neck, and then I go back in with the mineral powder brush that I just used for my setting powder, and I blend. Next is blush. What blush do I want to use? Hmm. I think I'll use... Hmm. I'll go for this one. This is the Laura Geller Ethereal Blush in Ethereal Rose and Satine Subtle Orchid. And it looks like that. I haven't used this in a while and it's really pretty. I got it off Hot Look. A while ago actually and I just haven't used it in a while and I'm just using this brush I have no clue where it's from I just like to use it for my blush and I just kind of mix the two colors it's a nice highlighting blush I think that's why I like it so much Dang mess. I'm not going to use any um, highlighter or anything today. I don't think it's that fancy. I don't think it's that serious. And I'm also going to skip out on eyeliner. But I am going to curl my lashes with my new blinged out Tarte Eyelash Curler. Which I'm obsessed with. And I think it's adorable. So yeah. I'm going to do that now. Let's see. I'm going to use my mirror for that. No mirror makeup challenge. There's one. There's two. I love the handles on this. My last one had like the finger slots. And I really love the handles when it comes to that. Um, for mascara, I'll be using the Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant, which is kind of my absolute fave right now. This I really love because it adds curl um, as well as volume and length. And you'll see. Before. Before. And during. It has kind of that brush to it. Sort of like the Lorac Pro Mascara. But I like to use the big round end first or kind of to build volume and I use the short little side for length do a little on the bottom too I love it I don't know I see a difference it's kind of hard to tell on the camera and I think I got it on my eye too yep I for sure did whatever I'll wait for it to dry and then I'll just flick it off um yeah, let me do my other eye. Okay. 
I feel like sometimes I don't even need two coats of this. I just need one nice coat. And this, I really like once it's halfway gone, it dries out a little bit. And I like the formula better that way than when you first get it, it's a little more wet. Just got it everywhere. And I'll do two coats today just for, for fun. That was a really messy mascara job. But I'm over it. Um, for brows, let's see. Things are falling. For brows, I'm going to start off with my Anastasia Brow Wiz in Brunette. I am going to brush through my brows just a little bit. I need to get them threaded so intensely bad. And then I just fill them in in any sparse areas. So definitely right here, do very short little strokes. An itch. Just kind of getting the shape for them that we want here. These bad boys need a thread so intensely badly. <laughs> Whatever. What error? Sometimes I'll also, well, usually on most days I use the Anastasia brow powder as well. I'm just going to skip that today. Um, but I am just going, ah, oh my god. <laughs> I am just going to set them with Anastasia clear black brow gel. This is a must step for me. Especially when my brows are out of control like they are right now. Holy mother effa. And I am going to finish with the lip today. Since I'm not doing um, liner, I might as well do a lip. And I'm going to use a new lipstick courtesy of my BFF Nubia. Yeah. So I'm going to line my lips with Night Moth by MAC lip liner. Just a sec. I'm gonna be very careful. I think I should just leave it like that. Gonna lightly kind of fill that in. Like I so. And then with my new lipstick that I so badly wanted from the new Matte Collection Punk Couture. I feel like this lip liner is almost not gonna work here. We'll see. Yeah, no, it's just gonna work. Uh. Oh yeah, it does. Oh my god, I'm obsessed.
I'm obsessed. Ooh, I'm feeling this right now. Wow. Okay. Let me just show you my finished look now. Oh, wait, no. First, I have to set myself here with some all-nighter. So it's starting to get a little dark out, so I kind of have to do this fast. But this is the finished look for today. Um, obviously, the focus is my lips. Here, this is MAC Punk Couture. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with it. I might need to fix it a little bit. I really like it. I also got heroin. She bought me heroin. Which I almost want to kind of put in the center. I don't know, I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do. But the eyes, as you saw, this is the Vice 2 palette. It's just a nice neutral look. Um, don't look at my eyebrows. It's really embarrassing. Um, yeah. I really just wanted to film a video today. So I'm glad I got a chance to kind of do that. Um, yeah. My hair's staying like this because guess what? Homegirl, all I'm doing today is, um, bringing the boy friend some dinner at work and that's about it so thanks for watching uh now that i'm on winter break i do fully intend on doing more videos and i'm really excited about it so i will talk to you all in the next one toodaloo